Hello, and welcome to Special Collections at the Claremont Colleges, presented by the Claremont Colleges Library. In this video, you will survey samples from Los Angeles-based archival collections held by the Claremont Colleges Library's Special Collections, the Ella Strong Denison Library on the Scripps College campus, the Bates and Harvey Mudd Aeronautics Heritage Library on the Harvey Mudd campus, and the Claremont Colleges Digital Library available 24-7 to anyone with access to the Internet. Special Collections holds print and manuscript primary sources, rare books from the 10th to the 21st centuries, literary and historical manuscript collections which cover 13th to 20th century Europe and 18th to 21st century United States, as well as history of the Claremont Colleges. Collections at the Denison Library have a strong emphasis on the history of the book and printing, women's history, artists' books, and the Scripps College archives. The Aeronautics Heritage Library collects in the areas of Harvey Mudd College history and aviation history, both in general and with specific reference to the development of the aviation industry in Los Angeles and Orange Counties prior to 1990. Established in 2005, the Claremont College's Digital Library, also known as the CCDL, consists of over 70 collections of historical and visual resources and collections created both by and for the Claremont College's community. The collections cover a broad range of topics, including the sciences, local and world history, literature, and art. Let's take a peek into some of the Los Angeles-based collections found in Special Collections. The David Boulay California Orange Collection contains materials related to orange and citrus cultivation in California in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, including labor documents, photographs, and rare posters. Developed by author, researcher, and avid collector David Boulay, this collection has long been a fixture of the LA Archives Bazaar. The Charles and Edmund Boynton papers contain a large collection of glass plate negatives which offer views of Claremont during the early 1900s. The negatives can be viewed in the Boynton collection of early Claremont in the CCDL. Both of these collections are accessible through the Claremont College's digital library. The Claremont College's photo archive documents the history and development of the colleges through photographs held by a variety of repositories both on campus and off campus. The City of Claremont History Collection documents the development of Claremont from its boom years at the end of the 19th century to the present day through photographs taken by both amateur and professional photographers. A gift to the Claremont Colleges from Frank Wheeler, a real estate businessman, the Wheeler Scrapbook Collection chronicles life at Pomona College and in the City of Claremont from 1884 to 1938. The scrapbooks have been fully digitized and are included in the CCDL. The Congregational Church Papers includes records from a number of Southern California Congregational Church organizations, including women's organizations such as the Women's Home Missionary Union of Southern California, spanning 1888 to 1925, and the Women's Board of Missions for the Pacific, covering 1889 to 1914. The Dr. Walter Lindley scrapbooks document Lindley's most notable endeavors, including the formation and management of the California Hospital and Nursing Program, his candidacy for mayor of Los Angeles in 1906, the development of the Whittier State School, time served on the Los Angeles Public Library Board, and the founding of a tuberculosis sanitarium in Idlewild. The Leonelli Collection contains 35mm photographic travel slides and essays written by photojournalist Elisa Leonelli. The slides cover a wide range of subjects and geographic locations, including extensive coverage of the Los Angeles 1984 Olympics. The William McPherson Collection documents the McPherson family's arrival in Orange County in the 1870s, including their involvement in the grape and avocado industries. Half of the collection contains Spanish and English correspondence, as well as printed materials, photographs, and ephemera collected by McPherson and related to his interest in the history and anthropology of Orange County between the 1770s to the 1920s. The George Martin Papers comprise 103 scrapbooks spanning the years 1900 to 1962 in the life of this California banker and civic leader. 
The Jose Maria Maiterena papers, documenting General Maiterena's role in the 1910 revolution in Mexico, include correspondence, photographs, newspaper clippings, and personal accounts. The Howard Mills collection is composed of materials concerning the U.S. World War II finance efforts centering around Howard D. Mills's activities, beginning in 1941 with defense bonds, continuing in December 1941 to 1945 with war bonds, and 1945 to 1965 with savings bonds. The papers of Marion Parks, a self-described California historian, contain typescripts of her own writings as well as vintage pamphlets and brochures mostly from the 1930s and correspondence files from the 1920s to the 1940s. Housed in the Pomona College archives, the book and periodical collection contains items published by Pomona College from its founding in 1887 through to the present including the student newspaper The Student Life, course catalogs, student handbooks, campus museum catalogs, Pomona College magazine, and more. The Reed photographs include images of California and the West, with photographs of Palm Springs, Yosemite, Owens Valley, San Gabriel Mountains, Lake Tahoe, and Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks. The Rood Frankenfield papers came from the family of Chester A. Rood, a former trustee of Claremont McKenna College. The value of the material lies in the representation of the daily lives of at least six generations of the female side of the family dating back to the early 1800s. The matrimonial investigation records are part of a collection of California materials gathered by Orange County rancher William F. McPherson. Most, though not all of the records, come from the San Gabriel Mission and consist of notarized interviews with couples requesting marriage in the Roman Catholic Church during the period of 1788 to 1861. There are 165 investigations in all, with 173 men and 170 women represented. Emil Steffa, who graduated from Pomona College in 1899 and lived in the Coachella Valley in the early 1900s, wrote two manuscripts, Tales of a Desert Indian and Basket Weavers of Coachella Valley, based on his time with the Cahuilla Indians. The Edward Vischer drawings and photographs are accessible through the CCDL. Best known for his pencil sketches of California landscapes throughout the 1860s and 1870s, Vischer sketched a wide variety of scenes and objects, but most commonly the California missions, trees, mountains, and rural scenes. The Jerry Voorhees papers document the life and legacy of Horace Jeremiah Jerry Voorhees, who served as a U.S. Congressman from California's 12th District from 1936 to 1946, and founded the Voorhees School for Boys in San Dimas, California. Voorhees served on the Dyes Committee on Un-American Activities and was President and later Executive Director of the Cooperative League of the USA. The Kerry McWilliams War Relocation Authority Records Collection includes materials used by McWilliams in writing the book Prejudice, Japanese Americans, Symbol of Racial Intolerance, published by Little, Brown, and Company in 1944. McWilliams was editor of The Nation for 20 years, worked as a labor lawyer in Los Angeles, and was appointed California Commissioner of Immigration and Housing in 1939. Materials from this collection can be accessed in the CCDL. The Water Resources Collection was developed in the 1930s by then-librarian Willis Holmes Kerr and Claremont College's trustee John Trainer, when water issues of the period interested both men, and they began to collect materials on the subject of water, its distribution, augmentation, and use in Southern California. Materials from both of these collections can be explored in the Claremont College's digital library. Now we will take a look at a few of the collections in the Aeronautics Heritage Library. An important book collection, the Iris Cummings Critchell Collection, is particularly strong on the history of women in aviation. Critchell, born in 1920, is a pioneer woman aviator who, as a member of the Six Ferrying Group based in Long Beach, was one of only a handful of women officially qualified to fly the Northrop P-61A Black Widow night fighter airplane. The Marriott Collection, spanning 1933 to 1963, relates to Joseph S. Marriott's career in the Civil Aeronautics Administration and its predecessor, the Bureau of Air Commerce, with special reference to the states of California, Hawaii, Arizona, and Utah. Roy M. Wolford was a personal photographer for aviation pioneer John K. Jack Northrup and the collection's photographic prints and negatives document the development and first flights of many Northrop-designed aircraft. 
Now we'll move on to Los Angeles-based collections at the Denison Library. Correspondence, typescripts, journal and newspaper articles and clippings, photographs, scrapbooks, original artwork, and other materials mostly dating from 1908 to 1938 make up the collection on the life and career of educator, author, poet, and philosopher Hartley Burr Alexander, 1873 to 1939. Susan B. Anthony was a leader in the women's suffrage movement, a temperance and abolition organizer, ardent reformer, speaker, and author who spent most of her life fighting for equality. This collection contains publications, ephemera, photographs, correspondence, and writings related to her life's work. The Balch Photographs and Travel Ephemera Collection consists of primarily visual material related to the world travels of Janet Jacks Balch and Alan Christopher Balch during the 1910s to 1930s. Bessie Herbert Bartlett Frankel was a founder of the California Federation of Music Clubs, the Los Angeles Philharmonic Orchestra, and the Hollywood Community Chorus, and established the Chamber of Music series at Scripps College. She was also active in various music organizations in Southern California, such as the Friday Morning Club. Materials from this collection are accessible in the CCDL. Phil Dyke, native to Southern California, was a professional watercolor painter, muralist, and an animator for Disney Studios, who taught art to Disney Studio artists as well as to students from the Brandt Dyke School of Art and Scripps College. Olive Constant Dugan was an author of children's literature and poet who lived and worked in the United Kingdom and in Southern California. The Phil Townsend Hanna Collection contains nearly 1,000 volumes of Californiana and Baja Californiana, including many Western cookbooks. Olive May Graves Percival was a poet and author of four books, a clerk for home insurance company for over 30 years, and an active member of the Friday Morning Club. Percival regularly contributed to the Los Angeles Times on subjects ranging from women's suffrage to gardening. Ellen Browning Scripps, born in 1836, was an educator, publisher, and philanthropist. The Ellen Browning Scripps collection documents her philanthropic activities, including Scripps College, Scripps Clinic and Hospital, Scripps Institution of Oceanography, and other local and national projects, organizations, and institutions. Many items from this collection are available through the Ellen Browning Scripps collection in the CCDL. The Scripps College Press Collection contains academic and administrative records, correspondence, financial material, and publications and printings created since the press's inception. The collection covers the years 1941 to 2004, with the bulk of the material ranging from 1941 to 1985. The Scripps College Photographic Collection contains professional and amateur photographs and negatives of the Scripps College campus, people associated with the college, campus events, and artwork. The collection covers the years 1927 through the present, with the bulk of the material ranging from 1950 to 1985. The Max Yavno Photograph Collection contains photographs taken by Yavno of the Scripps College campus and of Scripps student life from 1945 to 1950. Some of the photographs were published in 1950 in the Los Angeles book, which Yavno co-created with Lee Shipley. We have reached the end of our survey of Los Angeles-based archival collections housed at the Claremont Colleges. We hope you enjoyed seeing samples from the collections and perhaps you saw something of interest. For more details about these collections, including links to finding aids and digital collections in the Claremont College's digital library, visit our 15th annual Los Angeles Subject Archives Bazaar Virtual Exhibitor Booth Library Guide. Thank you for watching.